Good afternoon and good evening to all. Myself Vaibhav. In today's session of Visual J Forex, we will be starting a fresh with a new indicator. The name of the indicator which we will be using for developing and designing the algorithm for profitable trading is Ichimoku. You might be well aware of this indicator and you might have even used it for manual trading. In today's setup, I will be explaining to you how you can implement the algorithm using this indicator to look for the trading opportunities which might bring us a good amount of profit. Of course, uh, no setup is perfect, but we will be trying to optimize the entry and exit. So let us get started. In uh, this session, I will not be going into the technical aspects of this indicator, how each uh, output value is calculated and uh, how you can uh, figure out each individual uh, variable of this indicator. For that, I had done a prior session. I would uh, suggest that you refer to it if you want to go into the details of the intricacies of this uh, indicator, its input parameters and output values. Today, it's more about the functional aspects. We will be looking for uh, creating the entry and exit points for uh, trades using this indicator. So this is the Ichimoku VF block. And as you can see, we have to provide six input values. These three are default setup, the Tenken, Kijan, and Senko. These values are as per the default parameters. Depending on uh, the input parameters we define, we get this output value. For this session, we will be mostly concerned with the two output values only, Senko A and uh, Senko B. We will not be utilizing these uh, other three. All five output values are uh, important and uh, it depends on you which particular output value you want to use for any particular setup. For uh, this session, as I said, we will be looking to initiate the trade using these uh, two output values. I will be explaining to you the logic as well as the execution part, how we are going to look for the opportunities. And this is going to be dependent on uh, different time frames. We will be taking the candle period of hourly as well as 15 minutes and uh, we will be using the layering to make sure that we get involved for any trade when the situation is uh, in our favor, when the things are looking favorable for trade. So that's what the logic is going to be. So let me take you to the J4X platform. On it, I have plotted this uh, Ichimoku VF indicator with the default value of 926.52. The configuration is same as you saw on the Visual J4 board. I will change the default instrument to Euro USD. First, let me explain to you the logic on the hourly candle period. We want the Senko A value to be greater than the Senko B. And uh, if you do a bit of Googling or if you simply read into the technical aspects of this indicator, you will uh, find the classical interpretation in which if we see that the Senko A is uh, trading above the Senko B, that is considered as uh, bullish. And uh, in a classical term, this uh, difference between these two values also plotted as a cloud. And uh, whenever the price uh, dips within this cloud and finds support on the lower side or within this uh, price band, this is uh, considered as a bouncing from the cloud. And uh, this, uh, if the cloud is below the price, that is considered as a support area. If the cloud is above the price, then that is considered as a resistance zone. So that's how we utilize it. And uh, we are also going to stick with the classical interpretation. We will be comparing these uh, two output values only, Senko A and Senko B. And uh, what we will do, we will be looking to initiate the trade only when we have the price action closer to the Senko B, which is the lower line for the buy trade as well as for the sell trade. For buy trade, the requirement is that uh, Senko A should be greater than Senko B. And uh, rising for sell, the interpretation is going to be inverted. We will need the Senko A value to be lower than the Senko B value and uh, declining. Once these two conditions are uh, defined on the hourly candle period, we turn our attention to the 15 minute time frame. 
Now let us consider the by example. First, we will need the configuration on the hourly continuous rate to be available, provided that is the case. When we have some correction in the lower time frame of 15 minutes, the price dips below the 17 B value of the 15 minute candle period. And after the R, after 4 15 minute candles have plus, passed, we see that the last 15 minute candle closes above this uh, Senko B line, while at the same time we also need the Senko A line to be greater than the Senko B line, so that will be indicative of the underlying momentum being uh, still bearish and after due correction, the momentum is picking up, that will be the interpretation of the price action. Similarly, for sale, we will have to take the inverted condition. Here, first the hourly condition should be favorable, where we will need the Senko a value to be below Senko B and if that is the case on the 15 minute candle frame the similar thing will be required we will need the 15 minute Senko A to be lower than the 15 minute Senko B and the value will uh, need to have risen above the Senko B and after that it uh, drops and we see that uh, last 15 minute candle has now dropped below the Senko B. Uh, let me find one example where I can explain to you. I think somewhere here, but these uh, output values are plotted in the future, so you won't be getting a good read because uh, if we go in the past, we can't be sure what was the output value for the Senko A and Senko B. So we will have to assume here. And uh, now, as you can observe, till this moment we had the bearish momentum and suppose if that point in time if we had the price action rising above the Senko B and again after one hour dipping below the Senko B the sale trade would have been initiated and uh, one more condition would have been needed to be satisfied by the price action that uh, we will need the hourly candle closing or the last tick value should be closer to the hourly candle outputs Senko B so we will uh, use some calculation and we will define a price band of say 10 pips or 15 pips and the last tick tick price should be within that price band. That is simply to ensure that we go for a buy trade or sell trade closer to a resistance or the support area and the momentum is also favorable enough. So that is the simple logic of this uh, trade setup. So now we let us go back to the Visual J Forex board, which has been developed by the Decoscopy Bank SA. First thing first, here we will need to get the instrument subscription done. For that, we are going to need three A blocks. This is the first and foremost requirement of any algorithm to make sure that the instrument subscription is done properly. And our algorithm performs as intended and executes the trades only on the instrument of choice and not on any other instrument. So I will take default variable, default instrument, which should match the candle instrument and the candle instrument should match the instrument of choice. Here we will need to look for Euro USD. I think I have missed it somewhere, it should have passed. Okay, here it is. Finally, I found it. Equals to and again equals to. Okay. 
plus task candle candle instrument equals to euro USD and after that the position amount position for all position amount equals to zero that means there should be no open or pending position pending order on the account only in that case the new trade will be initiated I will change the candle period of this and this will be changed to hourly first okay and we will use these two output values to look at how the price action is unfolding here the shift value will remain zero no tinkering with the shift value and these uh, three values will also remain as it is we are working with the default setup only and for uh, 15 minute candle fed data we will take the help of one more Ichimoku block with this is a lot bigger compared to the other blocks of other indicators this I will change to 15 minutes okay and to look at the price action data we are also going to take the help of last uh, 15 minute candle and also the 15 minute candle one hour back so we will have to take get historical candle with different shift values so get historical candle candle period I will change to 15 minutes shift value is going to be 1 and 4 respectively okay so we have these two historical candle block and to pinpoint the exact entry point we will be adding 10 second blocks also prior to that we will have to carry out one calculation to make sure that we get the entry within the defined price band from the hourly simple b value while buying as well as while selling we will be utilizing a price band and only within that price execution will happen so for that we will need a mathematical component calculation expression okay So here it is. And uh, I will take 
the default is 20 pip size and we will be creating the price band of 15 pips so i will create a new variable and assign it the value 15 we will name it uh, pip value multiplier okay so this is going to be a1 into a2 we have defined 15 pips value and to pinpoint the exact entry point we will be taking the help of two more get historical candles so we need 10 second blocks This I will change to 10 seconds. This one as well. Shift value of 1. And shift value of 2. So with this we have basic building blocks ready for our algorithm and uh, for the day I think uh, that's enough we stop here and once we come back we will resume our algorithm development first we will complete the buy side of the equation and subsequently we will see how we can design and develop the execution for the sale trade. So that's all from my side. If any of you have any query or any idea to share, you can write to me in the feedback section and I would be more than happy to take the discussion forward. You can also check out the Decoscope Analytics page for further coverage of the market development. Whenever you want to start trading, the GForex platform is going to make uh, your trading experience exceptional. We have fantastic indicators provided to you which will uh, help you in finding the optimum trade entry and exit points. We are also available on the Facebook. You can reach out to us on the Facebook page of Decoscopy. All the links have been provided. Thank you all for joining in. See you next time. Till then, goodbye.